found a love for me. Hi guys, so today in my channel, obviously we'll learn how to do this look and i have used quite a few of my favorite products in it and anyway i thought that i haven't done an indian indian look in a long time uh, so yeah this is the look i kind of liked how it turned out actually you can wear this look if you're going to a party or if you wanted to wear it in a non-Indian way, you can definitely do that. Just change the earrings, no bindis and all. So let's get started. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, very, very important. Also support me on my social media accounts. That is only Instagram for now. So yeah, do keep following me there. Every product that I've used in this video is uh, linked in the description box below with the direct links to where you can buy them from. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm starting off with my favorite moisturizer currently I love this one okay so straight away moving to the eyes I'm using a concealer to conceal my eyelids and make it a perfect base for the eyeshadow so I've already done my eyebrows and because you guys have seen me a lot of time doing it so I've blended and set my eyelids and now it's perfectly ready for the eyeshadow so uh, as you can see for today's uh, eye look I chose to use uh, Huda Beauty's remastered palette this is the rose gold remastered so I took the shade called sandalwood and I'm looking straight into my mirror and creating a crease or a transition shade just because i have a hooded eye so i need to make sure that the placement is in the correct position then i'm going to take the shade coco and i'm going to darken the same transition shade so here you have to know the correct intensity that you want for your look when you're recreating this look and also all the brushes that i'm using are from pack like most of them are from pack and i'll try to leave it down below so i'm taking this shade called suede it's a cool toned ashy brown shade and i'm going to apply it all over my lid and then uh, just blend it with the transition shade then i'm lining my uh, lash line with a little bit of black from the same palette and I'm going to mix sweet and uh, black and apply it here in the outer corner to make it dark. I'm just going to keep it in the outer corner only and blend it towards the inner corner but not really taking it in the center of my lid. Also, it's very important to blend it to your crease. Then I'm taking this beautiful rose gold shade and I am applying it on my lid, uh, basically one third starting from the inner corner. And I want it to be like a very shimmery not so there kind of shade then i'm taking this orange one i forgot the name of this and i'm going to apply it only in the center i wanted a duochrome effect so coming back to the skin i am going to apply a oil primer because i have um, dry skin obviously for the um, part where i have pores i'm going to use a separate primer everything will be linked down below and yeah this is just for the nose you can choose any primer that you have to go and for the foundation today i'm going to use makeup revolution fast base and of course take it down your neck that's a little dance for you and yeah for the uh, brush i am taking here Y she it's a very beautiful foundation brush so for my concealer i'm taking two shades from nyx hd concealer range so first one is a uh, light pale it's basically a salmon color concealer this combination has been working for me for the past month so first I'm going to apply the lighter shade uh, the salmon shade basically and uh, blend it in then I'm going to use this is basically a yellow color corrector and when I mix these two they work amazing for me you can use any concealer that you have or you can definitely buy this the yellow one is very good for brightening up your skin that is what i'm doing in here and it's not a straight up yellow that will show on your skin it just makes your skin look really bright and nice so again for the powder i'm taking makeup revolution banana powder you see i'm going for a very bright look so any shade that is yellow or banana looks very nice on the skin and uh, with a fluffy brush i'm setting the entire face also for the contour i'm going to take the sugar contour uh, mini or this is the size basically 
so i love this one if you haven't tried it yet please go in the description box below like click on the link and just see it comes for 399 rupees and it's a great one uh, like i choose this over a lot of bronzers and contours that i have it's a very nice product so i'm using it in the usual places like my cheekbones jawline forehead and of course to contour my nose and yes i'm using a smaller brush for this and a tip never let your coffee get cold and then drink it it's very awful so i just tried this new blush that i bought from l'oreal and yeah a disaster happened which you will get to see so this blush just formed a very big patch on the skin and i don't know why this happened but this happened like two times i tried it after this also if you use it directly without dusting it on your hands this definitely does create a patch now my favorite drugstore highlighter this is the wet n wild highlighter and you guys need no intro introduction to it you know i love it i have been using it for years now yeah for the blush uh, i would say it's a good blush but you have to like rub it rub your brush on your hand first and then on your cheeks or else it will definitely create a patch so i use the highlighter in the usual spots and now for the lower lash line i'm again taking the same suede and the black mixed with it and i am applying it to the outer corner to match with the upper outer corner if that made any sense <laughs> so for the inner corner i'm taking the same uh, rose gold shimmery shade and applying it now taking the kiko milano glitter liquid uh, eyeliner basically so i'm using it on my lids and I, see here what i'm doing is i'm just uh, separating the glitter sparkles because i don't want them uh, to be in one spot also i took it down on my lower lash line too so now it's time for curling the lashes and using your favorite mascara so you can use any mascara that you love i ended up using a few uh, individual lashes also at the end just like that if you don't want it you may not use it as well so this is a very very good mascara and yeah without mascara a look is definitely incomplete don't forget to apply it to your bottom lashes too so next you guys will see that i have um, like went with a different kind of method for the lipstick so first i took this lip liner from nyx it's called montreal and i'm just lining my lips as usual then i'm taking mac uh, liquid lipstick in carnivorous in a fluffy brush and i'm starting to applying it from the center of my uh, lower lip and then flicking it up for the upper lip so what this does is this makes your lips look really really plump so for the upper lip i am only darkening the corners of my lip so you can see it looks really plump and you can do this step or skip the step doesn't really matter so i took jet setter from huda beauty and just applied it in the extreme uh, outer corners i would say like in the center basically but downwards i don't know what i'm explaining but that is what i did so the lips look really pretty and yeah that was it for today i hope you guys liked it and if you did please let me know till then bye bye